Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. And today I'm going to detail magnesium's amazing and essential support of blood sugar and why a systemic magnesium deficiency, which is very common today, is a powerful accelerant for conditions like type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Adults with type 2 diabetes, which typically results from a lack of regular exercise, an excessive intake of refined carbohydrates and sugar frequently have lower than normal levels of magnesium in the blood. And one reason for this is that high intake of refined carbs rapidly depletes magnesium. And magnesium deficiency is also a significant factor behind the chronic stress, insulin resistance, and runaway inflammation of obesity. Long-term stress and the cortisol surge that accompanies it inundates the bloodstream with insulin. Over time, your cells stop responding to the insulin, your metabolism slows, and you begin to gain weight. And this is what we call insulin resistance. So the very first way that magnesium supports optimal blood sugar is by modulating the release of cortisol. And this is even more critical during times of stress because chronic stress rapidly accelerates magnesium deficiency. Also, it's common for people with type 2 diabetes to have increased urinary excretion of magnesium versus someone who is not diabetic, excess sugar consumption, poor kidney function, and even taking supplemental insulin can all increase this magnesium depletion. And if this happens and you're already deficient in magnesium, this can cause a sharp rise in blood sugar. Another contributing factor here is that we need magnesium as one essential component for converting dietary sugar into metabolic energy. But people often consume too much sugar and not nearly enough magnesium. So this disparity can also lead to high blood sugar. With a magnesium deficiency, which again is all too common in varying degrees, the transport of glucose into our cells and even the cellular utilization of glucose is seriously impaired. Magnesium deficiency also triggers chronic systemic inflammation that also augments existing insulin resistance. So people with type 2 diabetes often end up in a disastrous cycle where long-standing magnesium deficiency increases insulin resistance and the insulin resistance promotes even greater magnesium deficiency. The first step pancreatic beta cells take in metabolizing dietary glucose is converting the glucose into glucose 6-phosphate. And this conversion then boosts ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, the universal energy currency. And here is where a deficiency of magnesium can really harm this process because the action of the enzyme glucokinase is dependent on the magnesium-bound active form of ATP, known as MGATP. With the magnesium deficiency, of course, there is a steep decline in MGATP, and this impairs the glucose's normal stimulation of pancreatic beta cells and the release of insulin. Inflammation is also a part of this, as magnesium deficiency significantly increases production of the pro-inflammatory cytokines, interleukin-1-beta, interleukin-6, and also tumor necrosis factor alpha, while decreasing the activity of antioxidant enzymes like glutathione peroxidase, superoxide dismutase, and catalase. So as you can see, daily magnesium intake is as vital a component to maintaining healthy balanced blood sugar as regular exercise and a diverse healthy diet that deliberately minimizes consumption of refined carbs and sugar. I've told you plenty of times before that an ideal daily dose for magnesium is anywhere from 500 to 1000 milligrams taken ideally with some vitamin B6, which greatly enhances both cellular and intestinal absorption of magnesium. B6 also supports blood sugar by regulating stored glucose and preventing glycation, so it really is a perfect companion for magnesium. There are plenty of magnesium formulations available, but some definitely absorb much better than others. I would personally look for either a magnesium malate, which is bound to malic acid, or even a combination of multiple magnesium forms. These products are often the easiest to locate because they're often just referred to as magnesium, and the combination of multiple forms of magnesium together allows for a greater absorption capacity overall. So stay active, watch your diet, and definitely take your magnesium. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.